beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk about things like love, spirituality, love, attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. In this video, we are going to jump right in. We are going to talk about a few signs that you know that your manifestation is coming. And I am the sign girl. I love analyzing the universe and keeping track and figuring out the pattern. The universe is always speaking to you. It's always letting you know that you're safe and that you're protected. And there's certain things on the journey that we might come across or stumble upon and we want to understand it, right? And that's the whole point of the word signs. It's communication. So the first sign I want to talk about is alignment. And a lot of my clients, they'll get on Zoom with me and they'll say, Michelle, what do you mean by alignment? Like, is it something that you have to attain? And it's more like you being on the dance floor. And I talk about this all the time on my channel is dancing with the universe. When we're in a low vibration, we're just not feeling good. We're doubtful. We're in our fear. We just feel like we're over the journey or maybe we're new and we're like, I don't understand what's going on. And you're just in this loop in your head wondering what's happening. And that's in a low vibration. You're in the unknown. You don't know what's going on. But when you have full faith and trust in your guides, in your angels, in the universe, and you know that every step of the way has been guided and that you're protected and the signs are just kind of little like, hey, little winks, little indicators that something's on the way. What happens is when you're in that wondering energy and you're not fully trusting because you maybe just haven't learned enough yet you're not on the dance floor. So my goal is to have you guys join my community, learn more about this, subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to rise up and get on that dance floor and stay there. And one of the biggest tips to doing this is alignment. And that's one of the first signs that we're going to talk about in this video is what does that really mean? How do we get on the dance floor to be in alignment? So you know that you're in alignment when there's flow. I call it flow city. <laughs> you know, you're hitting every green light. You're having synchronicities happening all the time. You're seeing all the angel numbers. You just feel like you're being moved to who you need to see when you need to see them. You come across this one person who maybe just started their own podcast when you've been thinking about starting one and now they can help you, right? That's alignment. Okay. It's when everything is effortlessly flowing and things are being brought to you right when you need them. Okay, when we're out of alignment, we will feel worry, doubt, everything will be breaking down. And it's because we're not fully trusting. So you can still have breakdown and chaos and be in alignment because you can be the observer. I always talk about taking the helicopter view and rising above and being like, okay, I can witness my life right now, this creation that I created. Did I create chaos or is this the universe letting me know something's on the way? So it could be two different things, right? It could be your mindset, your energy creating chaos externally because you're not in a good state. You're not in the flow. You're not in alignment. And what really drives that imbalance is maybe when we're not being good people. If you're gossiping, if you're thinking negative thoughts about people, if you are not being honest, if you're secretly doing things behind the scenes that is not honorable. You know, if you're leaving trash on the ground, if you are just being manipulative in some way on this journey, it is a full becoming of who we came here to be. It's an unfolding. Okay. And, and when we are in our truth and we are in soul in our body, we have to be acting from integrity. So, you know, you can't be doing things that God wouldn't want you to do <laughs> or the universe, whatever you call it. So you have to live your life as if the universe is a helicopter and it's watching your every move, your every word. Okay. So if you are not being honorable, if you're not acting in integrity, you're out of alignment and you are not on the dance floor and you're going to experience chaos maybe in your life. And the universe is bringing this chaos to kind of be like, hey, wake up. You can do better. This is not who you are. Stop speaking to these people. Stop letting these people jump into your phone and abuse you. You know, stand up for yourself. Don't engage in toxic behavior. Don't engage in things that are not morally right. Okay. And this is a fine, fine line because we are so calloused over that a little piece of us thinks it's okay to do it because we're not fully in soul. And when we're not in soul, we can't act 
from that integral place. So I'm here to check you right now and to remind you that you have a helicopter. You know, I am a helicopter in your life. I'm following you around. Are you acting in integrity? Are you being a good person? Are you being loving? Are you being forgiving? Okay, we have to allow that time and space for you to heal so that you can get to that alignment. And this is a huge reason why a lot of my clients and people in general just don't manifest because they're not understanding that you have to be a good person and be putting out good energy to receive it back. And if you are an amazing person and you are acting in integrity and you're on that dance floor, then your manifestation hasn't come yet because it's just not time yet. It's coming. So just hold the line. So the first sign is being in alignment, being a good person, recognizing when there's chaos saying, did I create this? Am I not acting in integrity somewhere else in my life? And the universe is trying to show me it. Or is this just the breakdown? Because I need to create space to allow this manifestation in. And in alignment looks and feels like flow. You're in flow city, hitting every green light, meeting every person that you need to meet, getting ideas when you need to get the ideas and things are just flowing. You know, synchronicity is kind of like you hear somebody's name in a store. Somebody says a certain name that's very unique. Like maybe let's say Sally, right? You hear the name Sally in a store and you haven't heard that name in forever and you pay attention to it. You're like, why did I just hear that name? And then you go somewhere else and you meet a wonderful person named Sally who's here to help you on your journey. This is Flow City. This is the universe aligning you and preparing you beforehand to let you know that she was coming, okay? So when we pay attention to these signs and synchronicities and alignment and flow, we can stay on that dance floor. Another sign that you know your manifestation is coming is when you have just gone through a deep, deep healing or release or a past life memory or maybe a childhood memory that was really grueling to think about, but you grieved it right? You sat in front of a mirror. Like I teach all of my clients, you sit in front of the mirror and say, this happened to me. And you think about it and you grieve it. And you feel sorry for your younger self that they had to go through that. And you take that younger inner version of you and you turn them around because if their back was to you crying, you're going to turn them around and you're going to nurture them and you're going to hug them. And you're, and you're going to say, I got you, babe. I am not going to let anyone else hurt you. We are in this together. And it's okay that that happened because it made you a better person. It taught you what not to do. And now we're gonna take that lesson and move forward, but we're gonna leave the rest in the past. We're gonna leave that trauma back there. It doesn't exist anymore. We're gonna revise it. I now am going to take care of you. So when you grieve and you nurture your little inner child, you are about to receive a manifestation because I always like to say our nervous system is like the candy, the nerds rope. And all the nerds on the rope are your traumas. They could be little traumas. They could be big traumas. It doesn't matter. They're just on your rope. And your job on a healing manifesting journey is to release all those little nerds so that the rope is clean and clear. And that would be alignment. So as you're grieving and speaking to your inner child, you're plucking off those little nerds. You can even eat them if you want. <laughs> They're so good, right? So you, you're taking them off. And the more we clear that rope, the more vibrant we become, our frequency rises, triggered by much anymore. And you have people and narcissists and all these different energies coming at you, but you don't react. You're just so calm and you're like, oh, I see why they do that. I see that person in their fear. Let me send them some love. You're like just this solid force that can handle any situation in full trust and faith. And you're not reactive. Somebody who has a lot of nerds on their rope and they're not on a healing journey, they are super triggered by everything. Somebody says something they don't like and they react or they don't say anything. They go home and they stew about it for hours. If you are stewing about a situation, you are needing to release something from your nervous system. There's a trigger there and that trigger is a blessing. What that person is saying is a blessing because it's showing you where you're not healed. And that's part of this journey too. Like I said, you're creating space on that rope so that you can become more vibrant so that you can get on the dance floor more often. Because if you're not triggered as often, you're going to be on the dance floor so much more than you would be if you had a ton of nerds on that rope, right? Because we wouldn't be feeling good consistently throughout the day. Everything would bother us. But when we clear our trauma and we heal our inner child and he or she can dance and play every single day and we're creating space for them to be in nature 
or to eat healthy food or to meditate, we're taking care of our soul, we feel good. So we're going to be on that dance floor and you're going to manifest twice as fast. And that's what I teach in my mentorship. And that's what I share in my online community called Awaken Your Magic. We teach about all of this. It is a healing process. It's becoming, it's unfolding. It's allowing our soul to shine through and to pluck off all of those nerds because that's not who we are. That's the calloused pattern version of us that was birthed in childhood through all of our traumas and our pain. But we are not our pain, right? We experience it to know what not to do than to do something good with it. So the second sign that you know something is coming is when you're plucking off those nerds and you're feeling that rope is feeling really clean and clear, you're not triggered, you're going through life being able to handle tough situations that you once would have been triggered by. And that's how you know your rope is clear is because you see a change in who you are. And you're like, wow, I'm not doing that anymore. And I used to do that. How did that happen? You're healing. And that's a huge part of manifesting. All right, your third and final sign that you know a manifestation is on the way is when you are feeling so beautiful or handsome. This is a really unique one, but this happens to me all the time. When I feel a surge of beauty and I feel like a star and I feel like I'm being admired, but it's not by anybody else. It's just by me. You know, I'm not talking to anybody about it. I'm, nobody's complimenting me. I just feel it in my bones. Like maybe spirit is looking at me and saying, I'm so proud of the woman that you are, Michelle. Look at the light that you're sharing. Look at your groundedness. Look at your ability to forgive and have compassion. That's the beauty and the handsome energy that I'm talking about. It is your soul. It is when you are in soul and you're feeling it, you're seeing it, and you just feel so beautiful. You feel like you have so much to offer to the world and you're going to bed just so happy with you and your connection to God, to love, to grace, to source, whatever you want to call it. You are just so tapped in to this love energy and it makes you feel beautiful and it makes you feel like you have value to add to our world. When you are in this energy, you are 100% tapped in on the dance floor and about to receive something. You can just feel it. And then as a byproduct of that feeling, a couple of days later, people sent your energy. And then you have people from your past asking how you're doing because they feel you leveling up. But prior to that, it was an intimate feeling with just you and you. You're like, wow, I didn't think I could be this connected to myself. I didn't think I could love myself this much. You know, I spent 41 years not loving myself. And now I'm just sitting alone somewhere loving my life and loving who I am. And a lot of times people won't get to that place. They won't feel that beauty because their rope is filled with trauma and the ego won't allow them to love themselves because they're still in judgment. They're still hearing that chirping from childhood. You're not good enough. You should do more. Um, it's always, you should be doing more. You should be doing more. And we have to release that trauma and then the ego kind of dissipates and falls away. And then we're like, wow, this is what soul feels like. Soul feels like alignment. It feels like flow. It feels like beauty. It feels like gratitude and appreciation. And you just, I can't describe it, but you just love yourself. And you know that you don't need food, people, experiences, sex, porn, shopping. You don't need all of those things. You can just dress up your body in a really cute way and do something really good. Drink a yummy drink if you want. Maybe food does help, <laughs> but you really don't need it. You're just so happy to be who you are. And this is a huge sign that a manifestation is right around the bend. So remember these three signs. So the first sign is being in alignment. You are healing a big trauma or little trauma. You're grieving. You're talking to your inner child. Amazing sign that something's on the way because you just created space on your rope to allow more light and more magnetism into your reality. And then the last one is you just have so much self-love and you feel so beautiful physically, emotionally, spiritually. It's the whole package. These three signs mean you are so close to receiving that next level, that lottery win, that car, that home, that vacation, that person, whatever it is, it is on the way when you're experiencing these three signs. 
All right, lovies. Like I said, I have an online community called Awaken Your Magic. Please join. You can learn about all of this in there. You can have a support system. You can book the eight-week mentorship with me. We do Zoom calls once a week, and I teach you about your, your traumas and how to heal so that you can co-create the life of your dreams. Or if you just simply want a reading and you want to see what your angels and guides want to tell you, I can do that as well. So everything's in the description box below. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for supporting me and my channel, and I will see you all in the next one. All right, peace out.